Hello friends, how are you all? Welcome, welcome and welcome to yet another session on arithmetic. Now in our series of arithmetic, in today's video, our main aim is to discuss everything about time and work or sometimes in some books they say rate and work very smart and logical topic not a pure math topic and because of the nature of this topic this is a very famous topic in almost all entrance examinations of not only mba but other fields also okay so for example if there are 10 people working on a project 10 people all right and they take 20 days to finish a work yeah, 10 people took 20 days to finish the work. So if only one man is working, how much time he will take? If your answer is two days, it is of course wrong. So stay tuned till the end to understand why it is wrong. There are many such exciting varieties which we'll be learning. All right. Cool. So let's see. First, see here the concepts will be very minimum. Majority of the learning will happen through solving various varieties of the questions. Okay. All right. Let's first define the work done. How do we define the total work to be done based on certain parameters? The parameters are how many people or how many machines are working. Yeah. Into multiplied by how many hours per day they are working for. That is nothing but their rate of working, 8 hours per day, 10 hours per day. Yeah. Sometimes in the question, they don't mention anything about this. So you can just simply ignore this. All right. Into how many days they worked for. Yeah. So ultimately you can define the work done as M D H M D H. So men or machine into days into hours per day. All right. So these are the three components which we consider while developing the total amount of work done. Okay. So number of people or machine into rate hours per day is nothing but rate into time taken means number of days. All right. Based on that, we can easily establish certain basic logical relationships. So rate and time of course will be inversely related. Isn't it? If you're working at a higher rate, you will be taking lesser time. Correct. So rate and time are inversely proportional, right? If you work at a higher rate, you will take lesser time. Simple. Higher rate means you are producing more amount of work every day. Yes. So overall work can be done in a faster manner. That is, it will take lesser time and vice versa. Provided other things that is machines, people and total work to be done is constant. Okay. All right. Similarly, number of people or the machines and the time taken is also inversely related. Isn't it friends? More people working means more work getting done every day. So overall to do the same work, the total time taken will be less, right? Yeah. So if you remember the earlier example in the beginning, I told you that 10 men are taking 20 days to finish a particular work. So if only one man is working, how much time he will take? It won't be two days because it is not directly proportional. Yeah. So it's inversely related as you saw just now, correct? So here we need to define the total amount of work. So 10 men is like logically 10 units of work getting done every day under the standard assumption that one person is able to do one unit per day. Okay. So 10 men will do 10 units every day and they kept on doing for 20 days. So we write it as 10 into 20 that is 200 units of work or sometimes you will you will hear the language as 200 man days that is work is defined in terms of men so same work is to be done by one man alone so at the rate of one unit per day into how many days yeah simple right so one unit per day and you have to finish 200 units so now it will take 200 days so logically if you see men became one tenth 
so time taken will be into 10 times inverse relation so logically also you can do if you can apply that inverse relation logic faster theek hai all right so if rate of two people is in the ratio a is to b so time taken will be what in which ratio if rate is in the ratio a is to b rate and time are yes inversely related right so time taken ratio will be super b is to a inverse hai na to ulta ho jayega you will observe that product is constant a into b aur yahan pe b into a so always product is constant then it is inversely related right we have done this in ratio proportion variation that whenever the ratio is constant directly proportional whenever the product is constant yes inversely proportional super okay now work done ratio will be what what do you feel rate and work simple logic right when other things are kept constant so higher the rate more will be the work done right so rate and work will be directly proportional isn't it so if rate is in the ratio a is to b work done will also be in the ratio a is to b i hope you are comfortable you have understood till here cool now what do we mean by efficiency you have heard about this you have heard about this word many times efficiency nothing but the rate of doing the work means work done per unit time so amount of work done in a given time for example sometime they will give a statement like this that a is twice as good a workman as b so what do we mean by the statement we can extract two things from the statement first amount of work done so if b does one unit of work a will do double so a will do two units of work the ratio of work done is 2 is to 1 all right ratio of time taken the one who is working more producing more units will logically take less time isn't it efficiency and time taken will be inversely related higher the efficiency lesser the time isn't it so your ratio of work done is 2 is to 1 so ratio of time taken will be come on yes one is to do super good one keep it up one more this was like straight directly given served on the platter ab thoda sa smart a is 20% more efficient than b now first of all 20 is such a round figure so means if b does 100 units of work a will do 20 units more in the same time so a will do 120 so in simple terms if you reduce it further it will be 6 is to 5 or else you can also look at it like this 20% is 1 by 5 so base is b right so base is 5 so if b does 5 units of work a does 1 unit more So he does six units, isn't it? So ratio of work done in the same time is six is to five. So naturally, ratio of time taken will be bang on five is to six. Awesome. Inverse relation, you know. That is why. So I hope you have understood till here. So far, so good. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead, champions. Now, wages. Wherever you have the question based on distribution of money, some salary. wages of course it will be distributed in the ratio of work done right naturally and never in the ratio of the time taken more the somebody who is doing more work should get paid more right in the given time so it is dependent on work done not on time taken all right theek hai now sample question to understand a can paint a wall in 8 hours working alone b can also paint the same wall in 8 hours working alone now if both of them decide to paint the wall together together then in how many hours then in how many hours will they be able to do so yeah let's visualize if a is painting he can paint the entire wall in 8 hours working alone right similarly when b paints the wall he can paint the entire wall in 8 hours working together yeah sorry working alone now when both of them work together So when they started at a fixed time, they will start painting. So just think logically here. When it is half the wall, when A completes half the wall simultaneously, don't you feel B also will complete half the wall? For half the wall, they will take half the time, right? 
So in four hours, half the wall will be painted by A, and remaining half will be painted by B. So together they have completed the painting. So work is done. Very easy and simple example to begin with. Now what if we have this? A can paint a wall in eight hours. B can paint a wall in six hours. And if both of them decide to paint the wall together, then how much time? This is hours only, obviously. I know a lot of you might be thinking eight plus six upon two, so fourteen upon two, मतलब seven hours, is it? Just hold on. Use some sense, some logic. When B was painting alone, he took six hours alone. Now he is being assisted by A. So how can it be more than six? Simple, isn't it? Whatever the answer is, it should be less than six hours. So by that logic, the seven is wrong. Let's see how do we solve this. First method is like in which uh, in school days we should do one method, unitary method. When A completes a particular work in eight hours, so let's find A's efficiency. Means work done per unit time. So your time is hour. So per hour. So A does full work in one hour. Now full work I am taking as hundred percent, or as a fraction it will be one upon one. That is one only, right? So A completes one unit in eight hours. So in one hour, so in eight hours he is doing full hundred percent. That is one unit. So in one hour he will be doing how much? Correct one eighth, isn't it? This was for A. Similarly, friends B. In six hours, doing the full work, hundred percent or one unit. So in one hour, per unit time. So we are finding their individual efficiencies. Yes, he will be doing one sixth. Correct. Now, when both of them work together, so A is doing one eighth and B is doing one sixth of the work. So together means I will add the total amount of work done by both of them every hour. So in short, if I simplify this further, LCM is twenty four. So eight three is a six four is a. So seven by twenty fourth amount of the work is done in one hour. So seven by twenty fourth part of the work is done in one hour. I hope you are with me. So full one unit of the work, total work we have taken is hundred percent, na one unit. So full work will be done in how much time? Cross multiply, friends. Come on, one into one divide by seven by twenty four. So ultimately, what? Yes, champions. Twenty four by seven. Seven is a twenty one. Remainder three by seven. i hope you are understanding this fraction this is called as mixed fraction how do we convert an improper fraction into mixed fraction dekho so 24 divided by 7 7 3 is a 21 so quotient is 3 and remainder is 3 so this is quotient this is remainder of course so we write in this format quotient is to remainder upon divisor this is the way we write a mixed fraction all right So three is to three by seven of an hour. Exact time. This will be the exact time in which the job will be done. This is one approach, friends. Reciprocal method, unitary method. Yeah. I hope you have noted this down. You can pause the video and note it down properly. Now I'll be telling you one more method. Yes. You will enjoy that more for sure. I'm raising this. Instead of defining total work as one, I am going to choose that number smartly. Smartly in the sense, I want, I don't want pain of calculation. I want my calculation to be as comfortable as possible. That should be the main aim, friends, isn't it? Yes. I am defining the total work as a number which is there in the table of eight as well as table of six. Table means multiple high five language. Or dono me hona chhi matlab common multiple and as less as possible. So least common multiple. So LCM of eight and six, twenty four. I am defining the total work as twenty four units. Now based on this, the way we had done there also per hour one upon one upon tha. So idhar bhi per hour nikalte hain means efficiency nikalte hain. So area of the wall we have assumed is total work to be done. That is twenty four square units. Let's find out A's efficiency. So A is doing twenty-four units in eight hours. So per hour, correct three units per hour. Similarly, 
B is doing 24 units in 6 hours. So per hour, perfect. 4 units per hour. Now when both of them are working together, come on, together. Yes, so 3 plus 4. So combined efficiency is 7 units per hour. So 7 units of work getting done every hour. So for 24 units, how much time will it take? Cross multiply. So 24 into 1 divided by 7. So 24 by 7 hours. So which is ultimately 3 is to 3 by 7. Here the numbers were very comfortable. That is 3 and 4. And that is where you will have more comfort and hence more confidence, ultimately more speed. So whenever individual time is given, this person is taking this much time, this person is taking this much time, best way to start is take LCM. So total work to be done is to be defined as LCM, right? Keep this in mind. But when you don't know individual time taken, you can go for that unitary method, one upon one upon. All right? Cool. Now, pipes and systems, something very similar logic, nothing new. That is why this is connected absolutely with this topic only. System is like a tank. Okay. So if the ratio of the red eye of two taps is one is to two, so what will be the ratio of the outputs from the two taps? Now tap means you should visualize this as a circle. So radii are double. And if you see the water amount of output will depend upon this area, right? This area, cross-sectional area. So radius is in the ratio one is to two. And area of the circle, you know, very well is pi r square. So pi into one square is to pi into two square. Pi pi by by. So one square is to two square. So ultimately one is to four. So ratio of outputs is one is to four. And once it means if the first tap is producing one liter per hour, in the same time, the second tap will produce four liters per hour. Okay. So ratio of time will be what then? Of course, the one who is doing more work will take less time. Ye is a basic reasoning, thoda sa proper hona jiye, friend. That's it. So ratio of time will be ulta na? 4 is to 1. So pehli tap ko 4 ghande lagenge aur dusre tap ko 1 ghande lagega because wo 4 liter fikta hai 1 minute mein. Waisa, 1 hour mein. Unit time basically. It's inverse. So ratio of output is 1 is to 4. So ratio of time will be simply 4 is to 1. Cool? These are some basic concepts. Now, let's learn some variety of questions through which our further learning will happen. Okay. Let's see this question, friends. Saurabh can do a job in 10 days. Saurabh can do it in 8 Rekha can do it in 8 days. Based on this only, friends, I should be able to define the work to be done easily. Yes. What should that number be? Come on. Yes, the number in the table of 10 and 8. Super 40. So let's define the work as 40 units. Saurav can do it in 10 days. Uska efficiency kya hoga, friends? Come on. Per day kitna hota hai? 40 divided by 10. So 4 units per day. Rekha can do it in 8 days. So 8 fives are 40. So 5 units per day. Alright. How much time will it take when both of them work together? Means now nine units are getting done every day. So nine units in one day. So 40 units in how much time? Correct. Nine units in one day. So 40 units in how much time? Oh, you cross multiply ultimately this upon this, right? So time taken is 40 divided by nine. Nine fours are 36, remainder four. Four is to four by nine days. Okay. So first part done. You can do it by that one by 10 plus one by eight. That method also, friends. But this is better, comfortable numbers. How much time will it take when both of them work on alternate days? Alternate days, hold on. So let's assume Saurav is doing the job on the first day, then Rekha. Means first day, four units will be done, correct? By Saurav alone. Second day, Rekha alone can do it, five units. Yeah. Cool. Then Saurav will come four days, then Rekha will come five days. Okay, so basically, if you see now logically, every two days, nine units are getting done. So, nine units are getting done in two days. Now, for God's sake, please don't do this cross multiplication. So, 40 units will be done in how many days? 40 into 2 divided by 9. Wrong. Why it is wrong? Even though it is directly proportional only, that is more time, more work. Because here, this cross multiplication works 
logically in a scenario where rate is uniform for example if like i say 10 chocolates cost 20 rupees so there is, there is a standard assumption that every chocolate is of same price means every chocolate costs 2 rupees i can say that but here nine units are getting done in two days that doesn't mean that every day 4.5 units are getting done that is 9 divided by 2 har din 4.5 units nahi ho raha rate uniform nahi hai aap dekh sakte ho kabhi 4 unit ho raha hai to kabhi 5 unit ho raha hai so rate is not uniform so don't do cross multiplication hold on let's do logically if nine units are getting done in two days let's so the work will be done in the multiples of nine isn't it nine units hoga fir 18 units hoga fir 27 units hoga and so on so let's go to the nearest nearest multiple of 9 with respect to 40 36 right so when 9 units are getting done in two days 36 units will be done in how many days 9 fours are so two fours are so eight days mein 36 units ho jayega so ninth day kiska turn hai assumption is saurav begins so saurav aayega he will do four units right and 36 units were done four units were remaining to make it 40 units so in 9 days the job will be done when saurav works on the first day yeah but if rekha works on the first day then itna to same hi rahega na 36 units in 8 days us pe koi farak nahi padega but ninth day it is rekha's turn rekha can do 5 units in one day but we want only 4 units so rekha can do 5 units in one day but we want only 4 units ek din thoda sa kam lagega right But exactly four fifth of that day lagega. So eight days complete, and then four fifth of the ninth day. So eight is to four by five days when Rekha begins the work. So of course, here there are two possible answers. So in the question, it should be mentioned who begins the work. Otherwise, it will be simply cannot be determined. All right. I hope you are understanding through these examples, friends. All right. Okay. Cool. Okay, friends. Next variety. Eight children and twelve men can complete a work in nine days. So eight children. Now this C. Understand, huh? What does this variable C represent? I am taking C as the amount of work done by a child per day. What? I repeat. Amount of work done by a child per day. In short, child's efficiency. I hope you understand the language now. And twelve men. So I am taking M as the efficiency of men. Amount of work done by every man per day. When this group works together, they take nine days. Yeah, it's like eight C plus twelve M units of work are getting done every day, and it took nine days. So this is how we will define our work: this much units per day into nine days. Comfortable, clear, easy. But here there are two variables. Let's see how I change from two variables to one variable. For that they have given us this hint. If each child is half as much efficient as a man, so child's efficiency is half of man's efficiency. Let the end ask me in how many days will twelve men finish the work? In short, I should get rid of this C. Yeah, so C is m by two, isn't it? So in short, now we can define the work as. We can have four men. If four men are there, plus twelve m. So four plus twelve, sixteen units of work getting done every day. It happened for nine days. So sixteen units every day into nine days. Work is men in two days. M D H. Here, there is no H. So in terms of man days, the work is sixteen into nine. Now same work is to be done by twelve men every day. So this will take how much time? Yeah. So M one into D one is equal to M two into D two. That one. Hey na? Ye frame karne aana chida. So converting from two variables to one variable. Because of this hint, that was the main thing in this question, friends. Okay, four threes are, four fours are, three threes are. So twelve days may come, ho jayega. Understood? This variety. Okay. Next variety, friends. A and B together can complete a job in ten days. Okay. So A and B together are taking ten days. B and C together, twenty days. A and C fifteen days. In how much time A, B, and C will take the individually finish the job? All right. Since you know the individual numbers for each group, you can easily define the work, isn't it? A number in the table of ten, twenty, and fifteen. 
what is that perfect 60 units so now we can find efficiency of each pair 10 days 60 units so 6 units per day 23 za 15 four za okay 9 plus 4 13 units per day perfect now how will you do this 13 is what here also if you add this this and this so you see a plus a do bar aa raha hai b plus b do bar aa raha hai c plus c do bar aa raha hai so 2a plus 2b plus 2c so i am taking two common so twice of a plus b plus c corresponds to 30 units per day in short a b c together can do 13 by 2 units per day isn't it itna comfortable hai ye two bhulna mat jab sabko add kar rahe ho to a b c sab do do bar aa rahe hain okay friends or you can say 6.5 units per day in terms of decimal that is fine now if i want to find a is time taken kya karunga main is yes, i'll get rid of b and c b plus c kitna hai 3 units per day correct friends so a plus 3 6.5 from here i got efficiency of a 6.5 minus 3 so 3.5 so a is doing 3.5 units per day so to finish the work time taken by a is what 60 units at the rate of 3.5 units per day that way सेवन बाई टू है तो ऊपर टू जाएगा तो वन ट्वेंटी डिवाइड बाई सेवन 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 जा वन वन नाइन इज टू वन बाई नाइन दिस इज अम टेकन बाई ए लिखना है ओके बी का चाहिए तो गेट रिड ऑफ ए प्लस सी विच वी नो इज फोर यूनिट्स पर डे सिंपल सेम थॉट फ्रेंड्स या थर्टीन बाई टू सिक्स पॉइंट फाइव सिक्स पॉइंट फाइव माइनस फोर टू पॉइंट फाइव राइट टू पॉइंट फाइव का एफिशिएंसी बी का तो सिक्सटी डिवाइड बाई टू पॉइंट फाइव टू पॉइंट फाइव मतलब फाइव बाई टू यस सो ट्वेंटी फोर डेज बी को लगेगा सिमिलरली सी का कैसा होगा सी प्लस ए प्लस बी सो ए प्लस बी सिक्स यूनिट्स पर डे राइट इज इक्वल टू सिक्स पॉइंट फाइव सो सी एफिशियंसी इज पॉइंट फाइव यूनिट्स पर डे सो टाइम टेकन बाई सी विल बी वॉट सिक्सटी डिवाइड बाई पॉइंट फाइव पॉइंट फाइव मतलब हा इन शॉर्ट वन ट्वेंटी डेज सबसे एफिशिएंट ए था फॉलोड बाय बी एंड देन बाय सी समझा गॉट दिस वराइटी आल्सो ओके ऑल राइट लेट्स सी दिस वराइटी फ्रेंड्स ए कैन कंप्लीट अ पीस ऑफ वर्क इन थर्टी डेज बी कैन डू इट इन ट्वेंटी डेज ऑल राइट करेक्ट Super. I'm very sure you must have got this. Let's let's define the total work. Sixty units, right? A is efficiency is two units per day. B is efficiency is three units per day. Now, if A and B started working together and A quits five days before the completion of the work, then for how long they were they worked together? All right. So A is quitting, right? Five days before. So B is there from start to end. Let's assume it took n days. to finish the work so a was there for 5 days less right 5 days before chala gaya ho so total minus 5 this is the simple planning you have to do by friends so a is doing 2 units per day and he worked for n minus 5 days so this is his contribution similarly b is doing 3 units per day for n days so this is b's contribution and together they finished this 60 units so 2n minus 10 plus 3n is equal to 60 So five n is equal to seventy. Yeah. So n is fourteen. It means it was overall fourteen days. The work was done in fourteen days overall. But in the last five days, a was not there. It means for the first nine days, right? Last five days, a was not there. It means for the first nine days, they were working together. Isn't it? Samja. Okay, friends. Through these examples, I hope you are getting more and more confidence. Let's go ahead. So, Rahul takes twenty days. Rahul takes thirty days to demolish. Okay, building and demolishing. If they work simultaneously, so we can easily define the total work as sixty units, right? So, Rahul takes twenty days to build a wall. Means his efficiency is three units per day. Rahul takes twenty thirty days to demolish it. Two units per day, but demolishing. So, negative work will be. This is the logic of negative work, friends. 
वर्क साइमल्टेनियसली ये तीन बनाता है उसमें से दो तोड़ देता है मतलब इफेक्टिवली वन यूनिट इज गेटिंग बिल्ट एवरी डे एंड यू टू फिनिश पहली बार टास्क कंप्लीट होगा गॉड इट सो यू कैन से दिस इज द लॉजिक ऑफ नेगेटिव वर्क कहीं दिखा तो यही है ओके Alright friends, this question: Taps A and B can fill a tank in twelve minutes and fifteen minutes respectively. Absolutely similar background, so we can define the total capacity of the tank or the work to be done is twelve and fifteen the LCM. Yes, sixty liters of tank. So A can fill in twelve twelve minutes, so five liters per minute. B can fill it in fifteen minutes. Yeah, so four liters per minute. Okay. Both are open. A is closed after three minutes. Means for the first three minutes, the combined efficiency was nine liters per minute. So for the first three minutes, इतना काम हुआ. उसके बाद A close कर दिया. Means only B is continuing further. Suppose B took n minutes after that. So at the rate of four liters per minute for n minutes, total amount of work done should be sixty. बस ये frame करने आ गया ना. It's enough for these kind of questions. I hope you are getting this slowly. Four so n is equal to sixty minus twenty seven. Sixty minus twenty seven is what? Thirty three, right? So thirty three divided by four. Yeah, four eights are thirty two. Just one by four. So eight minutes completely plus one fourth of the minute. मतलब fifteen seconds. Eight minutes, fifteen seconds. You got it, champions? Okay. Super. Keep it up. Keep it up. Again, something similar. Eight. A tap can fill an empty tank completely in ten hours, while another tap can empty the full tank in twenty hours. So the tank capacity or work to be done, let's take it as twenty liters, ten and twenty ka LCM. So suppose this is tap A and this is tap B. So A can fill it in ten hours, so its efficiency is two liters per hour, right? And B can empty it in twenty hours. So one liter per hour carries a nickel, right? Empty, so negative. So two minus also effectively one liter is getting filled every hour. In what time an empty tank gets completely filled? Dikh raha hai na twenty liters bharna hai and rate is efficiency is combined one liter per hour. Very easy. So twenty divided by one. So in twenty hours, the tank will be filled completely. Got it? Okay. Now cat question. Amal can complete a job in ten days. Bimal in eight days. Amal, Bimal, and Kamal together. Can do it in four days. Still, the numbers are given right individually, and they are paid a total amount of one thousand. So, if this amount is shared by them in proportion of their work, then Kamal's share is simple, right? Easy to start. Ten, eight, and four ka LCM, so forty units of work. So, Amal can do it in ten days, which means yes, four units per day. Bimal can do it in eight days, which means five units per day. In Amal, Bimal, and Kamal together, they do it in four days. Means what? Four tens are na. So ten units per day. So here, we have Kamal ka efficiency mil jayega. Sami jo or suppose I am writing Kamal ka k likh raha hu. So nine plus k is ten. So k is one, right? So Amal's efficiency is four units per day. Bimal's efficiency is five units per day, and Kamal's efficiency is one unit per day. So this five, one thousand will be split in the ratio of four to five to one. Kamal's share is. One out of five plus four plus one ten, so one tenth of thousand hundred. So Kamal's share is hundred. Okay, understood. Yes. So these are some basic varieties of questions which will make the foundation stronger. Then further questions we will do in class. Okay, friends. I hope you have noted this much. You have followed this much. Thank you so much for giving your precious time. to understand this topic i hope you have enjoyed it you have understood it thank you so much take care stay safe take care bye